Hello, this is Jules from VR Tracker to show you a new improvement we just uh, brought to the system. It is a very simple improvement, but one that we should have uh, brought way before. So let's start with the problem. If I put the headset on with, the, with our current tie here, if I put it on, the tag can easily be on the side. Okay, so that's the first problem. And the other problem is that the tag position is on the top of my head, but what I'm tracking what I want to track is actually the user's eye position. Because if you look there, what happens if I put my head on the side is that the tag is going to move much more than my eyes if I do this movement. So the movement that you are going to have in the headset is going to be amplified and it shouldn't be. So the way to correct this is to measure the difference between the tag position and the user's, eye, uh, the user's eyes position. So you measure that difference and then you use the tag orientation to apply the offset using the tag, uh, the tag orientation. So having a good orientation to the headset is also, is also important. But if we put it on the strap, you can see that the tag can easily move and give an incorrect orientation. So this is not something we want. So the thing that we did is that we apply the correction in the Unity plugin. You can see there is an, uh, an offset in the new plugin. You can download the, the version 2 on the website. So there is the, in, so, in the software, there's something to correct that. And we just done, um, this is a 3D printed uh, support for the new version of the tag that is going to be in that case, in the squared case there that is screwed on the top. And there we will have a perfect, uh, position, we will know exactly the difference between the tag position and the user's eyes position. And the, the orientation of the tag will also be uh, perfectly uh, known to the orientation of the headset because it is fixed. So that solves the problem and the movement will be way smoother and way more uh, natural actually in the headset because of that simple correction. And we've been starting to test it and actually the results are really good and, uh, and we're wondering why we didn't do that earlier because it is very nice to actually have that simple correction. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have more questions, don't hesitate to ask them uh, below in the YouTube uh, comments. And if you want also, for example, the CAD model for that, if you want to 3D print it yourself, don't hesitate to ask. Um, the only thing is that it's only uh, working with the new tags. You will have to, uh, to change it to work it with the previous ones, but uh, it's an easy fix. Thanks for watching and have a good day.